Welcome to this video where we are going to cover how to set up batch resources. This is an incredible feature within Photo Pro that allows you to add a massive amount of images into uh, Rapid Weaver for Photo Pro to use instantly. Because if you were to try to add images one by one uh, into a single images, um, it would take a really long time. And especially if I've done an export of, uh, let's say, these uh, interior shots of a home, there are just so many. And if I were to try to add all of them one by one, a full image, a thumbnail, uh, it would just take a super long time. And that is exactly why Batch um, is a huge feature within Photo Pro when you're dealing with large sets of images. So let's cover how to set this up from scratch. Uh, actually, I, uh, well, let's see here. I'll have to create a new resource, that's fine. Okay, um, so uh, here I've just added a single photo base stack and a uh, single photo group. I've done nothing to them. Um, this is just kind of where things start out by default. So by default, a photo group is going to choose, uh, set the image source uh, to be stacks. So this allows for the drag and drop uh, into the stack area to uh, bring in your images. But instead of choosing the image uh, source being uh, stacks, we're going to choose resource. And now the uh, single image uh, things are gone here and you're just seeing a, uh, this kind of changes over here. This will now say resource. So now Photo Pro is going to be looking for a resource folder to bring in all of your beautiful images. So let's give that to it. Um, we're going to now open up our resource area in Rapid Weaver. I'm going to shrink this window panel down. And I'm just going to collapse these real quick. These are all included uh, in the uh, photo example project file, um, but for uh, running through this from scratch, uh, we're just going to create a new one. So let's uh, do a new one, new folder. And um, so here we have untitled folder. I'm going to rename this to uh, batch uh, images. Let's just call it that. Okay. So I've created a single folder in my resources called batch images. Now over here, um, I have uh, different um, full size and thumbnails that I've exported from Lightroom. And you know, you can export from uh, Apple Photos or whatever your photo editor is of choice. Um, I have full versions and I have thumbnails. And that's one of the cool things about uh, Batch and Photo Pro is uh, it does give you a separate input. I'll show you right here. For the resource folder, I have a path for full images and for thumbnails. So that is why I have a full version and I have a thumbnail folder. Uh, they're the exact same images. It's just that one, the thumbnails are smaller, compressed, um, you know, everything to save file size uh, so that when someone views the entire album, it uh, doesn't take forever to load. <laughs> so that's the whole goal is uh, you want thumbnails so that someone goes to your album uh, on the page and they could instantly see all the thumbnails really quickly. So. I've uh, created batch images here in the resources. All I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, or do we do cars, food, nature? Let's, uh, let's, we're in the cars, let's just go with cars. So um, I'm gonna drag my full album to batch images. Um, normally you wouldn't get this, but because cars is already uh, added, I'm gonna just say duplicate. Uh, so now we see batch images in full. Now I can see all the cars. But let's click back to batch images because I also want to add thumbnails. So I'll go like that. Now really, you can um, you can name these. Uh, you don't, it doesn't have to say full and it doesn't have to say thumbs exactly. Um, your resource folder and the full size and thumbnail uh, folder file names, you can name these really whatever you want, whatever makes sense for your project. Um, I've just chosen to go with full and thumbs because it's short and easy to work with. So now I have my full size images and my thumbnail images. And now I'm going to uh, minimize this. And over here in the full size images, we're going to put in the, in the full size area, we're going to put the path 
of batch images and full. So I'll show you what that path name will look like. So we go batch images slash full. And then for the thumbnails, uh, it's just batch images and thumbnails. So we'll go batch images, thumbs, it's thumbs, right? Yeah, thumbs, okay. So now we can look at this and there they are. We have our low res thumbnails that now show full size images. And that was done pretty, pretty easy. And I'll show you how easy it is to uh, switch these out. So <clears throat> right now I have this pointed to go to the batch images. <clears throat> But I have also these other resource folders here. So let's say I wanted to do cars full and thumbs, or car full size images and thumbnails. Or actually, we already did cars. Let's do, let's go with food. So I can just uh, replace batch images with food. Food full and then food thumbs. Preview that, and now we have all of the food images just like that. So let's explain a few things about batch. Um, so right now, you are getting these really weird file names. Well, these file names are taken directly from the image file name itself. So um, when you do um, add images into batch and you wanna just automatically use the file name for the caption, which is what batch will do, <clears throat> You want to try to name your images uh, something that makes more sense. Um, and these images are from uh, a royalty-free uh, stock photography place called Unsplash. And so I didn't change the file names out. They're just, they just have these crazy names on them. Um, but one of the nice things about Batch is that you can set the meta caption, um, you can draw, you can have the meta caption override the image file name. Uh, so uh, let's uh, show you an example of what that looks like. So let's just go back and let's use people as a good example to demonstrate how uh, this works. So here we are looking at the actual file name. So this one, um, well, yeah, these are the actual file names uh, that um, PhotoPro has converted to a caption. But let's now say, Okay, so for the thumbnails, where are thumbnails? For the thumbnail caption, for the meta caption, let's draw from the object name or the title is what like Lightroom will call it. It will, uh, it's the title field. Even Apple Photos, when you put a title in an image, um, it is, um, it's, you wanna select this option to read the title. So now let's see what we get. Ah. Now the captions now have the title of the image, just like that. So we've batched in some images and now we are reading the EXIF data. We are reading the title portion of the EXIF data, um, which is pretty, pretty nice. And now, uh, but let's say we wanna read a different portion of the uh, EXIF data. Let's say we want um, the descriptive um, uh, portion to be uh, of the image data to be used for the caption. Well, here we go. But now we have a different kind of problem. We are reading the image uh, meta description, but it is really huge in our thumbnails. But at the same time, it looks really good in the light box. So what is nice about Photo Pro is we can uh, opt to have the thumbnails use the meta title of the image. And then for the light box, we can change the meta caption to read the meta description. And so now we have uh, nice image titles, but when we click them, we get the long uh, meta description. This is what makes Photo Pro so awesome, guys. I uh, really, really uh, think this feature is just so awesome how, um, how metadata is used in Photo Pro. Uh, so that's how to set that up. Basically, to recap, you drag and drop your folder um, into, into here, and then you, so if we got, uh, 
so for our example we were using, we have people and full. So then that corresponds with people here and the full folder right here. And that is it. Now you can, you don't have to use thumbnails. You really don't. If you want, you could just go to uh, you reuse the same full size uh, folder for both the uh, full size and thumbnails. And then you will get uh, something like, like this, really, really crisp images. But this layout would take a very long time to load. It's loading fast because it's locally on my Mac, but if this was on the internet, it would take a very long time for this to load and it would really bog down, especially like a mobile device. So you don't want to do that. I don't recommend um, having uh, uh, using the full size images for the thumbnails. But that's how that works, guys. And then you also get uh, sorting features. If you have like the EXIF date uh, image information uh, in there, you can sort by the EXIF date, having like the newest first or the oldest first. You can shuffle your batch images, all that good stuff. So a lot of control when using batch resources. Uh, it's a very powerful feature. And um, this is uh, a big improvement over how the original PhotoStack utilizes batch images. All right, that's it. Thanks, guys.